Greetings, NJBrew22.com. We're here for a special edition of our cheap wine reviews. I'm not doing a wine review this time. I'm going to talk about a flyer the same way we talk about the supermarket flyers every week. Um, you know, it's my own little thing. I, I do it probably just for my own good uh, and therapy. But anyway, we got the, uh, you know, obviously it's uh, the early, uh, the beginning of the holiday season, so everybody's talking about holiday uh, picks for wine and Thanksgiving and all this other stuff. Um, Wegmans has this like wine magazine, this like a really fancy high production quality uh, catalog. It's only like 10 pages, 10, 12 pages. Um, and they have all these ridiculously expensive wines and they, they're talking about these and they have a whole chart here. Take a look at this. They have the wine ratings guide. And if you look there, you have Wegmans. I don't even know these. I know Wine Advocate. I've heard of Wine Spectator. And this guy, James Suckling, apparently is a, he's a, he's a big shot. And his t taste buds are, are to be respected and awed. But anyway, uh, this book, uh, the Wegmans book, shows uh, various uh, expensive wines like these Bordeaux's. Uh, apparently, 2015 was a uh, was a big year for the Bordeaux. I, I don't know what that means. I mean, I believe me, I, I think it's too much. And look at all these expensive wines: eighty dollars a bottle. Um, here's another one in there, Bordeaux, eighty dollars a bottle. I mean, they have the, who pays this much for a bottle of wine? This is a 97 rating, James Suckling, so it gets a hundred bucks a bottle. Hell no, man. I would not pay $100 for about, they have a couple coupons here, $3, $2, and like for some of this featured wines. It's not a general coupon. Uh, but here, here on the front page, um, Wegmans has these uh, $6 wines. And we've had these two. I haven't tried this Italian wine or this new one that they just started carrying. It's called the Cape Original Shiraz. Uh, but I've had the Espetto, which is, uh, I wouldn't call it a, um, a two bottle passer, but it, it's a good cheap wine, you know, if you're out there shopping. And I think the El Molino was good. These are all, I think, 13%. This might be 14%. Um, I haven't, I'm gonna try this one, this, this, uh, this Italian wine. Oh, it's a Sangiovese Cabernet. I'm gonna try it, just, just for shoots and giggles. But we don't go above six bucks at Wegmans. But interestingly, Shoprite has the. This is a weird, uh, a weird thing. Shoprite, the way they do this, like uh, the Shoprite we go to most is in uh, Clinton, and that's owned by Quick Check, and it's not quite the same owners as the other Shoprite liquors, and they don't often have the same in-store prices. But the coupons don't always work in, in Clinton, for instance, because they don't stock the particular thing that's in the flyer, which is odd. I'm going to find out why why that is. But uh, the ShopRite ad, uh, here's their big specials, and they're plastered all over the store I saw today. Dark Horse wines, they're okay. Uh, I think they're on the edge of passing the two bottle tests. 709's not bad. Barefoot, we're never going to buy. The Apothic, I like the dark, the, the red blend. 929 is not bad, but I don't think it's worth it, even at that price. Uh, we like going cheap. And there's something here at, uh, here's another Maison Louis Jadot. I, I don't even know. I'm not going to spend $20 for a bottle of wine. I'm just not, not going to do it. And about, by the way, this uh, organic Bonterra, I didn't like it. It wasn't good. And uh, that's it. That's all that ShopRite has at the uh, liquor store. Behringer's Founders Estate. This is a good price for the single bottle. 801 a bottle is um, is um, better than the two bottle price or the double bottle price. Uh, you can usually find it for 16.99. So that's a, a definitely a good um, uh, price. And I wanted to try this cul-de-sac, and they don't stock it where I go. So I'll have to go to a different shop, right? Maybe in Hackettstown, or uh, I forget where the other one is. There's something out in Union, maybe. But uh, so that's it, that's, we're, that's our whole uh, cheap wine uh, sale review for the, uh, for the week. And there you go, I'll put my flyer there. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this for, uh, for my uh, YouTube cover.
and this that'll be that. So no uh, no half hour wine review this week. Uh, even though I have some in the hopper, I'm, I'm not going to do it. So that's it. Have a nice week ahead, and don't get too drunk. Keep your liver uh, 